What's going on guys? Welcome to your 16th Android tutorial. And you know, I've, I've realized that you guys have matured quite a bit in the Android world over the past 15 tutorials. I think it's about time to tell you guys about the life cycle of the activity class. And... I'm such an idiot. Alright, what we're going to do is talk, talk about the life cycle of the activity class, like I said. Because what happens now is we had our application run but still our splash screen is there if we hit the back button it's gonna go back to our splash activity and we don't want that because you know we want a splash activity to basically kill itself after it's been been uh... been displayed for the most part because it's taking up some memory or it potentially could take up some memory so we're gonna free up some of that memory for the most part and that brings us to the life cycle of an activity now i looked up the android developer page uh, this is a great resource for you guys to use. Just search activity and it will go to the, the life cycle of the activity. That's where you guys can find this. I'm just going to talk through kind of the life cycle and which methods are important for the most part. So here's what happens. An activity starts. Our splash screen, for example, starts. Then it calls this onCreate method. That's where we set up our thread and we set up our layout, our set content view set up some of all, the, all of those uh, type of variables and then it also calls the onStart method after after it calls the onCreate method then it calls the onResume method then our activity actually starts running that's when the user can touch the buttons that we have set up and interact with our activity see it has to call all three of those methods before activity actually starts now if our activity is running and we get a text message or for example for splash activity starts a new activity the splash activity is gonna go through an on pause and basically go through when it's not no longer visible it's gonna go through call an on stop method or yeah so basically uh, basically the most important one is the on pause but if our activity gets shut down it's gonna call the on pause on stop and on destroy so for example if you guys are creating a game and the person gets a text message right in the middle of the game you might want to have you know a method or some setting up some variables or some methods that will save the data within an on pause method because it will call that on pause method before anything else happens so that's kind of kind of the way that you want to think about it is you can set up some last minute or save points or something within this on create method or on, I'm sorry within this on pause method and then once our activity gets started back up it's gonna go through this on resume method again before it starts running so the only method that from our activity class that we are familiar with is this on create method but we're gonna kinda of use some of these other methods as well but what I want to show you guys is are sorry I'm getting kind of ahead of myself here what I want to show you guys is that we're gonna use this on create method but the only other two methods that are really important for the most part is this on pause method and this on resume method because even if our activity gets destroyed it's gonna go through this on pause method before it goes through these methods as well so we might as well set up everything within this on pause method and we won't have to worry about these and also the on resume method we can set up some of our resume methods or variables that we need to set up before activity activity starts again so those are going to be the three basic uh, methods that we're going to use for activities in the future but as for our splash activity we're going to get into that right now so open up your splash activity and hit enter right here so we only have one bracket left this is for our whole class uh, this one is for our starting method and again we're just going to right click go down to source override implement methods and again through the activity tab we can find the method called on pause so this is where we're gonna kind of make our splash activity kill itself so to say because we're just evil like that so th the way we can do that is hit finish it's just a simple method and it's basically gonna finish the splash activity get rid of it and it's gonna be gone forever for the most part until our user starts up our activity or our application again so pretty simple but what again is happening is we when this splash activity starts 
because it's a launcher item, it's going to go through this onCreate method. And then it's going to run. And then basically what happens is when we call this start activity right here, the splash activity is going to call this onPause method um, because it's going behind the starting point activity that's being created. So it's going to call this onPause method real quick. And that's where we're just going to finish our class. We're going to say, hey, destroy yourself. Finish yourself. And hopefully that made sense and you guys kind of get the structure of how the life cycle works for the most part and, uh, and kind of what these methods mean because I haven't really explained what the onCreate method is for the most part. So hopefully you guys like that tutorial and have a little bit better understanding of the activity class and how that works. So thanks again for watching. Hope you have a good day.